You're watching Decision 2024 election coverage on WLBT, sponsored by Watkins Construction. And election results coming in across Mississippi and all over the country right now. Many of you keeping your eyes on the votes being tallied in the race for the country's next president between Vice President Kamala Harris and former President Donald Trump. And here in Mississippi, Donald Trump is your projected winner. Trump with about 62% of the vote to Vice President Harris is 36% and now that 62% to 37%. And again, Trump is projected to claim the state's six electoral votes. All right, now here's a look at the numbers from popular from the popular vote all across the country so far. Harris again has received 46% uh, of the vote at this point and Trump has 53% of the vote. No matter what happens tonight, history will be made this election. Now, if Harris wins, she'll become the first woman and woman of color to become president of the United States. If Trump wins tonight, he would be the second president in U.S. history to serve non-consecutive terms. And at 78 years old, he will become the oldest person to assume the office of U.S. president. But of course, it will be the number of electoral votes that will decide who will be your next president. Here's a look at the number of electoral votes projected for each candidate so far. Right now, you see former President Donald Trump with 214, Vice President Kamala Harris, 179. And of course, we're going to have more analysis from the presidential race coming up in just a moment. Now, you also want, went to the polls today. You wanted to vote for your next U.S. Senator along with congressional seats. And we are covering reaction to those races from all across the metro. Our crews are standing by at the State Democratic Watch Party along with Senator Roger Wicker's Watch Party in downtown Jackson. And we start with that U.S. Senate race where the incumbent Republican U.S. Senator Roger Wicker is fighting off a challenge by Democrat Ty Pinkins. Wick, winner, uh, Wicker, that is, is projected the winner right now, and that race was called fairly early tonight, even with barely any votes counted. Wicker coming in with 64% of the vote right now. Pinkins earning 36% of the vote in that race.